from smart tents to woolly mammoths to campsite drone pizza delivery to software that could change pretty much everything. Over there. I have some AI predictions that should be coming to hiking and the outdoors soon. Some are fun and exciting, but some get a little creepy. On that note, I'm going to avoid the larger societal discussion surrounding AI. I don't have a crystal ball to see into the future, nor am I anything close to an AI or tech expert. However, we do know of some things that are currently being developed and can extrapolate on those. I'm going to start with what AI is already out there, move on to things that are probably coming soon, and finally to some things that are just downright guessing. Let's dive in. First up, AI-driven nature apps. This is the safest bet on the list because, well, it's already available. Even before the ChatGPT explosion that happened in 2023, apps like iNaturalist used machine learning to identify species with just a photo. So you can take a photo on your phone of that flower on the trail and voila, you can identify it as a blue bonnet. Or take a photo of that brown snake in the grass to see what it is and maybe if it's poisonous. These digital identification field guides are not just limited to photos. My bird watching buddy and I were in Ecuador and he was using his Merlin app to identify bird calls. Pretty awesome. AI is going to drive these nature apps to be more accurate and more interactive. And speaking of ChatGPT, you've probably noticed how easy it is now to do just about anything via written text, specifically anything that requires processing a large amount of data or research. So instead of Googling the best backpacking tents and sifting through loads of reviews and trying to find some overlapping advice, you can ask it, what is a freestanding two-man tent that weighs about two pounds and has killer reviews from through hikers that won't break my wallet? the Big Agnes Fly Creek HVUL2. You can now have conversations with a tool that has processed every morsel of info on the internet. This is turning the gear research process on its head and trip research, outdoor advice, anything like that. How Google keeps up will be interesting. Speaking of trip research, instead of us filtering around on apps like All Trails, apps will become more interactive. So you could say, find me a five to 10 mile loop with a good balance of alpine views, flowing water and forest within an hour drive of Seattle and abundant parking. Actually, the app Hiker is working on a quote trail GPT to allow you to ask questions and to help you prepare for a hike by collecting trail data to review. Basically allows users to carry out queries on trails. It can have an understanding of what the surfaces are like along the uh, trail. So give good recommendations and what you might need to bring. This one is kind of abstract, but AI will provide more innovative engineering that will result in more durable and overall better designed gear. AI's ability to process huge amounts of data can do things like run advanced stress test simulations. Several companies, us included, are using parts of AI to figure out how can we get something to be strong enough while being as light as possible. New materials, etc., are sometimes informed by AI. The consumer may not notice, but you might be getting a product that's either cheaper or lighter or stronger because there were elements of AI used in its production. We're seeing this in the medical field. For example, in oncology, AI is able to process thousands of cancer records, detect patterns that are too subtle for human eyes, and predict cancer earlier. Definitely more important than simulating gear tests, but same idea. Some AI engineering developments could mean things like improved tent pole designs and backpack frame ergonomics. Now on to some actual gear. Headlamps. Smart adaptive lights are already on the market and will be getting better for headlamps. So the brightness of your headlamp will adjust automatically based on the environment you're in or where you're looking. Just like your smartphone screen's brightness adjusts based on the brightness of your environment. This adaptive light technology will continue to make its way into environmentally adaptive headlamps. Smart tents, oh baby. There are so many potential features for a smart tent which makes this prediction much more nuanced. Responsive lighting, responsive rain flies, responsive temperature sensors and regulation, and on and on. The tent company Cinch Tents is already integrating solar powered lighting systems which look super cool. These are not really AI driven though, and these are more for car camping. But a tent that could auto adjust its temperature regulation for a comfortable, say 68 degrees, this would make winter hiking or summers in the desert much more comfortable. Advancements in lightweight solar tech or compact batteries could make this possible. 
Another gear category ripe for AI takeover is insulation, sleeping bags and sleeping pads specifically. Similar to tents, imagine a sleeping bag that could adapt its heating or cooling levels. Heated sleeping bags are already in the works, and companies like Ministry of Supply are already making heated jackets. But these have room for improvement, and they don't really use AI to adapt their temperature regulation, nor do they provide cooling. And these use a USB battery for their power bank. Developing an adaptive temperature responsive sleep system for the backcountry seems almost too good to be true, but not too, too far off. I'm Chris, founder of Green Belly Meals. We make adventure meals that provide a whopping 650 calories. They're like a Rice Krispie treat, but on steroids. If you've got an adventure coming up, check us out at greenbelly.com. Green Belly Meals, and these are these really delicious uh, bars. Okay, back to AI. Virtual try-ons are getting better, and are going to be big. Most online clothing stores have a whopping 30% return rate, mostly due to sizing. AI is about to overhaul all of that and dial in the disconnect we experience from seeing clothing on our screen to how it actually fits our bodies. Amazon already has been testing this on certain products and companies like Glam Labs are working on virtual try-ons and augmented reality. This is going to help get more accurate fits for outdoor clothing and footwear, but also things like fitting a backpack or even things like assessing tent space. And how about powered clothing? Check out Skip. These powered exoskeleton pants, which are partly made by Arcteryx, are equipped with smart sensors and have an embedded device to assist you with hiking uphill and support your knees on the downhill. It's just enough to make that hill feel a little bit easier and hopefully close the gap between where someone wants to be and maybe what their body is capable of. So if we can help someone do an activity that they've been thinking about for a long time, particularly these social experiences with family, with friends, that can be really meaningful for them. Skip pants are expected to launch in 2026. So yeah, powered clothing, pretty crazy. And smart footwear is stepping up its game. Shoes that don't just fit your feet, but also track how you use them with embedded sensors, like Sensorious Smart Socks, which provide real-time feedback on metrics like foot strike and cadence, and can flag problems like overpronation, all accessible via an app. Or Nike's Adapt Line, which features self-lacing shoes that adjust to your foot shape and movement patterns in real time with every step. Other brands like Digit Soul are creating smart insoles. AI-powered footwear should improve performance, but also really help with injury prevention. A decade ago, Theranos promised that a single drop of blood could run a whole range of laboratory tests. Founder Elizabeth Holmes ended up being a fraud. Shout out to Bad Blood, great book. But similar technology is becoming more of a reality thanks to AI. Wearables like Aura Ring and Whoop already monitor some vital signs like heart rate and H-drop monitors dehydration and electrolytes. AI is overhauling these and about to be in real time, so you can gauge your blood sugar level, dehydration level, even your blood oxygen level at altitude. Products like Sawyer Squeeze revolutionized backcountry water filtering a decade ago by making it simple and easy to filter clean water from just about any fresh water source. AI is being used to assess water quality at the treatment plants and in our homes, but not yet in the backcountry. AI could start to complement our current backcountry water filters by providing known contaminants, mineral assessment, safety thresholds, and final output quality. Have you ever played any kind of virtual reality game? Virtual tourism is here. You can already tour Machu Picchu or kayak in Antarctica, and soon summit Mount Everest. And things like Disney's Holotile, which is a responsive floor, kind of like an omnidirectional treadmill, is going to make this VR tourism experience much more immersive. Now take this a little further. Combining VR with augmented reality and making it real time will mean looking up and interacting with the night sky above you or watching lion herds live hunt on the Serengeti. I'm going to lump a bunch of nature models together here. You're gonna be all right? No, not that kind of model. Weather models, wildlife models, you name it. Imagine receiving a phone notification on the trail that says a bear was 500 feet from your destination this morning. AI systems could analyze GPS collar data from tagged wildlife and send real-time alerts to hikers. These systems could also be used to monitor, predict, and assist wildlife migrations and behavior. And we're already starting to be able to manipulate the weather with things like cloud seeding, which can make it rain on demand. This model technology will be more targeted to identify things like potential avalanches or potential wildfires. The United States Forest Service are doing some early pilots looking at using artificial intelligence to model wildfires, right? So trying to get a better job of predicting which areas are high risk for wildfire, you know, where smoke might carry, where fires might spread to. So yeah, imagine no more wildfire reroutes on the PCT. 
And speaking of wildlife, AI is unlocking the mysteries of animal communication. AI models are being trained on thousands of bats, elephants, monkeys, whales, and dolphin vocalizations to uncover patterns and identify what we might think of as words or ideas and subsequently possibly understand their meaning or intent. AI could be the Rosetta Stone to bridge interspecies communication. Jurassic Park is no longer science fiction. <laughs> Imagine spotting a woolly mammoth roaming in Alaska, brought back to life after being extinct for over 4,000 years. Thanks to AI and the DNA technology being used at the biotech company Colossal, this so-called de-extinction effort is becoming a reality. And it's not just the woolly mammoth, the Tasmanian tiger and the dodo bird are on the list. Skeptics raise concerns about essentially playing God. Supporters argue it could revive ecosystems and combat poaching for critically endangered species. Okay, things are starting to get a little more eerie. At the moment, there's this rush for particularly apps and software companies to push AI features potentially before they're really, really ready. AI agents are basically like more autonomous versions of ChatGPT. So instead of us just querying these tools with inputs, these will be able to take that a step further and make real-time decisions and actions. Ex-Google CEO Eric Schmidt shared at Stanford a few months ago, It's going to have an impact on the world at a scale that no one understands yet. I'm not about to try to explain how this works, but I have heard a lot of buzz about it. Eric goes on to describe how you could prompt it to, Make me a copy of TikTok, steal all the users, steal all the music, and in one hour, if it's not viral, do something different. Obviously, these text-to-action agents have huge implications for software. Imagine how this could apply to hiking. Tell your AI agent to plan a weekend backpacking adventure, campground reservations, rent gear, order meals, whatever. Or develop custom apps for your specific wants and needs. Drones have exploded, and you might have seen Tesla's Optimus robot. Many other companies are working on humanoid robots like Boston Dynamics. These will help with a litany of tasks, anything from dangerous factory assembly to mundane tasks like folding laundry or cooking you a meal. Now imagine them out on trail, your robot porter carrying your gear. Optimus claims a carrying capacity of 45 pounds, cooking your meals, guiding and spotting wildlife for you. Maybe even acting as your personal backcountry nurse. You heard it here folks, Ultralight is out and heavyweight robots are in. Now, I gotta admit, while scripting this, I got a little spooked for the outdoors and society in general. Obviously, a lot of these developments could be great. I mean, sleeping in temperature-regulated tents, saving endangered species, better healthcare on and off trail. These changes could pose a threat to our sense of wilderness, though, and increase our dependency on tech and who knows what else. I would love to hear which of these developments are you most excited about or are you completely freaked out? I know you're ready to click off to the next thing, but if you, yes, you liked any bit of this video, I'd love it if you liked it and subscribe to Greenbelly's channel. Maybe share this with your hiking buddy, your weird cousin, your robot. Peace.